Okay, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I am in my studio and we are going to be filming an upper body session for you all. Um, basically what this is going to entail is a workout that you can take and you can copy and put into your own gym that you train at. Um, I'm going to kind of give you tips and suggestions on how I would make it fit the gym that you're in. The studio is... Um, pretty small really there isn't you know tons of machines or anything which is normally my go-to so um i like to think that my gym confidence is pretty high but i'm not at the point quite yet that final level in the game whereby you can walk into a public gym and talk into a microphone and a camera surrounded by loads of people that have got no idea what's going on i'm not quite at that peak gym confidence just yet um so that's why i'm filming this in my own studio where I'm by myself. Um, so if I was to do this workout in a far bigger public gym, it would probably look a little bit different. And I appreciate the fact that everyone watching this video is gonna be in that position of being in a bigger public gym most likely. So I'm gonna show you ways of how you can make it fit into a gym like that. Give some guidance on reps, sets. Um, and the idea with this workout is that you can use it multiple times a week. If you're somebody who's just getting into the gym, maybe you're doing like, you know, three days, you could do this two times a week and then also in the middle of it have a lower session as well. So let's get onto it. Let's, uh, let's train. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to kick it off with the first exercise. Now, obviously, before I start filming this, I've run for a warm up. So make sure you've done that first. The other thing that I've done as well is done some warm-up sets of the first exercise. So again, make sure you do that before you go into the working sets. So I'm going to run through the structure of this workout. I'm then going to take you through each individual exercise and tell you what it is that I'm doing in terms of reps and sets. I'll also give you any alternatives if I think that your gym is going to be different to the one that I'm currently in. At the very end, what I'm going to do is run through rep and set suggestions if you're somebody who is just starting out in the gym. Now, obviously, I do have to go through the point that everyone's volume requirements are completely different. So this is just going to give you a general guide on what to do, but you're probably going to find that you need to make tweaks as you go along. So the structure for this workout is very, very simple. We're going to be doing lats. We're then going to switch to more of an upper back focused back exercise. We're going to go into chest, then delts, and then we'll finish with arms. So we'll do biceps and triceps. That is the really simple structure for this workout. Exercise number one, lat pull down. If you've watched my videos before, you will know that when it comes to the lats, we know a little bit more about how they work now in comparison to going back a good few years. So we know that in order to get the best setup for a lap based exercise, we want to keep that elbow nice and close to our side. So something like your traditional lap pull down where you've got more of that palms down grip and as you pull down your elbows are flaring wider isn't going to be the best stimulus for our lats. You are going to get some lat in that exercise, don't get me wrong, but with a pull down like that we're going to actually be looking more at an upper back stimulus, so things like the traps, the rhomboids, and also the rear delts. So with this setup on the cable machine, we've got a D-handle set to the highest point, we've got our bench set up at 90 degrees, and we want to have it just off centre, so that we can do this single arm, and we've got a path that runs straight up and down, so that I'm able to pull my elbow nice and easy down towards my lower back, and then allow that arm to go straight back out in front of me. Okay, so with my setup of this, I'm going for two sets each side. So I'm gonna do my initial set of eight to 10, pushing to failure. And then I'll do my back off set, um, still pushing to failure, but slightly higher reps. So we're gonna do 12 to 15. But obviously, as I said, stick around, watch this whole video if you're not at the point yet with your training where you're taking things to failure, which is absolutely fine. Um, stick around to the end of the video and I'll walk through how I would make those changes for somebody that's a bit new to training. Mm. 
Okay, exercise number two, we are now going to be moving into the second and last back focused exercise. And we're going to be going in with an upper back focused row. So again, of course, there is going to be some lat involvement in this exercise. Um, it's just that the setup of it isn't optimal to get the most out of the lats. So the majority of the focus here is going to be on that upper back musculature. So we're going to be looking at things like the rear belts, the traps, the rhomboids, to name three. So the setup of this looks really, really fancy. It looks like essentially that I've created my own spaceship, but all this is is a cable row. So what I'm going to do is put on the screen what you will be able to use in like 90% of gyms. We've just got that traditional cable row machine with like the long bar setup. That's literally what I've created here. It just looks a little bit wide. So we've got. The bar here, this would normally just be a straight bar. I don't own one of those. I use um, a type of bar called a sister lift, which is where you just attach your own attachments onto the bar. So this is in place of that straight bar. What I've also done, just to add in a little bit more funkiness, because why not? I've added in a bit of chest support. Now obviously with those traditional row machines that you've got in like 90% of gyms, and by the way, if you've not got one of those, you can just use a standard cable machine like this. And if you really have to, just sit on the floor. I've added in a bit of chest support, because why not? I've put the bench here, but again, you can just imagine that that's not there. We're going to do our upper back row, so I'm going to do three sets on here. Again, taking all three sets to failure. Um, I've got one set of, this is going to sound a little bit funky, but I've got one set of six to nine. I then go into a set of 8 to 10 and finish with a set of 12 to 15. So again, sounds a little bit funky. It's just an easy way for me to be able to progress those lifts. So if you're taking things to failure, then you can use that rep scheme. But once again, stick around to the end of the video where I will be covering beginner rep schemes. So let's get into our next exercise, upper back cable rope. So what you're gonna see from this back shot of me doing this row is what makes this more of an upper back biased row. So obviously we spoke about with the lat pull down by keeping that elbow nice and close to the side, we're putting those lats in an optimal position to do the majority of the work. And the idea here is that if we're using, say for example, that long straight bar that I spoke about a second ago that like 99% of gyms have got, you're gonna be using a palms down grip so as you pull back, those elbows flare out wider. Around about 45 degrees is normally a good starting position for everyone. And that's what's gonna be making it more of an upper back biased row. So obviously you'll see from the behind shot in this, uh, this clip that I'm about to film here, you'll be able to see those elbows flaring a bit wider. And that's what's making this more of an upper back biased row. Okay, time to move on to some pecs. So this is where exercise selection for this split is gonna be really important, okay? So if we're only going to be doing one chest exercise in our split, because if you're gonna do this exercise, so if you're gonna do this workout two times a week alongside of a lower day, this is gonna be our only chest exercise. Now, I'm not gonna say that that's the most optimal way of running something, but this is just a nice, simple split if you wanna try something different or you're just looking to get started in the gym. So it's not gonna be the end of the world, okay? However, we have to be very mindful of getting the most out of that one exercise that we pick. So for example, it would make absolutely no sense whatsoever to do a dumbbell bench press as our one chest exercise each week, if we're looking to be optimal. I'm not saying that you wouldn't make any gains whatsoever, because of course you would, but are you gonna be maximizing chest growth? Absolutely not. Why is that? Because with a dumbbell chest press, or any free weight chest press, you're not getting what's known as a full range challenge. So you're getting a shit ton of challenge at the bottom and sort of in this mid range point but when you're in that fully shortened position and your arms are out in front of you, if you were lying down, obviously they'd be above you, there's absolutely no challenge whatsoever 
to that pec muscle. So that's where that phrase, not a full range challenge, is coming from. So we need to make sure that the one exercise that we are picking is a full range challenge so that we can get the most out of the pecs with this one exercise. So that is where something like a cable chest press or a machine chest press is gonna come in handy because with those types of presses, we're going to be getting a full range challenge. So in my studio, I don't have a chest press machine, but I do have a cable machine. So I'm gonna be using the cable machine for my chest press of choice. However, if you're in a far bigger gym and you've got some kind of a chest press machine, then using that as your chest press might be a good option. But even if you've got a chest press machine, if you've also got a cable machine, you could use a cable as well. The second thing that is super important, and this might be where actually even if you do have a chest press machine, you choose to use the cables instead, is we want it to also converge. So that means that we want our hands to move across our body as we're going through that press. We don't want them to stay parallel and just go out in one straight line. The reason for this, and the reason that we want a converging press is so that we can get that pec as short as possible and once again, get as much out of that muscle as we can. So if you've got a chest press machine in your gym, but it's parallel, it's not converging, but you've got a cable machine, I would highly suggest that you go with the seated chest press on the cable machine instead. And I'm gonna take you through that exercise now. So I'm doing two sets here. I've got a set of six to eight, it's gonna be my top set, and then my lower back off set. I say lower, still gonna be taking it to failure, but it's just high reps, so it's not gonna be as much weight. We're gonna do a 10 to 12. So very similar, well in fact the same, as with the chest press when it comes to our lateral delt work, going in with a free, ra free raise, no, free weight lateral raise, um, and really by that I just mean a dumbbell lateral raise. Would it be completely pointless? No, because again you are going to get something from it, I'm not going to be a, a complete idiot and stand there and say we're not going to get anything from a dumbbell lateral raise because that is not true at all. But Again, if it's gonna be our only exercise that we're using, we need to make sure that it's a full range challenge. And once again, with a dumbbell lateral raise, we aren't getting a full range challenge. When our arm is down by our side, there isn't any challenge to that lateral belt. It's only once we start to move that arm, we get a greater challenge as we go up and up and up, okay? If we switch that over to a cable machine and we do either a dual cable lateral raise that you're gonna see me do in a second or just like a single arm cable lateral raise, we're gonna get a full range challenge. Now, personally, if I was you, I would opt for the dual cable lateral raise like I'm about to do because it's a time saver. You're gonna do both arms at the same time. You can do a single arm cable lateral raise. You're gonna get the same from it. It's just gonna take you longer. Um, but I suppose it depends. If, if you're happy to spend more time in the gym, then go for it. Um, but for me, time is money, so we are gonna do the dual cable lateral raise and I will run you through the setup on that now. Three sets on here for myself, all 12 to 15 taken to failure. Um, but again, obviously stick around to the end of the video because we'll cover some beginner rep ranges. Setup of this, nice and simple. We're gonna take our hand and put it on the opposite cable, so right hand to left cable, left hand to right cable, cross them over in front of us. We're gonna be starting with our hands outside of our thighs so that the angle at the bottom comes to around about 90 degrees. From here, it's in the case of, as we bring our arms up, we're gonna finish with a slight bend in our arms, fists finishing ever so slightly forward. So they're not directly out in front of us, it isn't a front raise, it is a lateral raise, but in order to keep that shoulder joint nice and happy and get it moving through the plane that it wants to to get the most out of the delt, we're not going directly out to our sides. Again, we've got that slight bend, fist finishing facing slightly forwards. With this, you should feel a really, really nice burn in those lateral delts.
And last, but by no means least, we are going to go into our arm work. So I have programmed three sets of biceps, three sets of triceps for this, but supersets. So you are going to need to set yourself up on the cable machine where you have got access to both sides. We're going to start with a face away cable curl. This is a really great exercise because we're in theme, full range challenge. Um, so we're going to get challenged to the bicep, whether we're at the bottom of the exercise or at the top. We are then going to go straight into a cable rope push down for the tricep. So you want to make sure that you've got your ropes nearby as well, ready to make that switch as fast as possible. So you'll do your first set of your bicep curls, pull one of your pulleys straight up to the top, attach your rope, and then go straight into your first set of push downs. We can then rest and then we can complete that two more times. So we've got three rounds in total. Okay, so that is the workout done. So to recap, we did lats. We then went into an upper back biased exercise, chest, delts, biceps, triceps. So the volume that you saw me do was where I was taking everything to failure. So if you're at that point with your training, the sets and reps that I've done and gone through already in this video are gonna be a good starting place for you. If you're doing this two times a week alongside of that lower body session that I said about, even taking it to failure, there is most likely going to be some areas that you are still gonna to have to push up some of the sets. So for example, if you do four sets of chest a week, two in one upper session and then two in another, who's growing their chest off of four sets? even to failure, not very many people. Um, so you know, there are gonna be things that you are gonna have to work out for yourself based on you know, watching your progression and also your recovery as well. But they're good starting numbers. So to recap what I went over, I'm gonna look down because my log book is down here. So that lap pull down, I did a set of eight to 10 and then a set of 12 to 15. Upper back row. Three sets, these were the ones that were a little bit weird, um, but it's just a nice way to lay it out so that you're able to progressively overload it each week and just keep on pushing up the reps. And then once you hit the end of the cycle, you can restart that scheme again. So we've got a one by six to nine, a one by eight to 10, and a one by 12 to 15. So for example, I did 180 for eight reps, and that was for that first set of six to nine. So the idea is that next week I'd go in and I'd try and do the 180 for nine reps. As soon as I do that, I can up that weight and start that cycle again. So we'd start at six reps and, and keep on working up. So that's the idea with those kind of sets where it's giving you like a range to go through. Cable chest press, one by six to eight and one by 10 to 12. And dual cable lateral raises, I just did three sets of 12 to 15. And then the arm supersets, we had those face away cable curls. I did the first set of eight to 10 and then the rope push downs, also the first set eight to 10. And then the other two sets were 12 to 15 on both. So that's how I would start it out if we're going to failure. If you're new to the gym um, and you're not in a position yet whereby you're training to failure, you're more focusing on just figuring out the exercises, learning to control weight, learning the form, you know, the mind muscle connection side of things. Um, what I would do with all of this is start out nice and simple and I would do two sets, 12 reps on everything. After a couple of weeks, I would up it to three sets, 12 reps on everything and then just see that through, watch your progression. You might find that some things need to go to say four sets, 12 reps. Once you're in a position whereby after quite a while, you're starting to feel more confident with things. That's when you can start to maybe play around with different rep ranges and have different weights in there. So some higher weights, maybe have some sets where you'll go into eight or 10 reps. It's, at that point, you still don't have to be pushing it to failure, um, but you might just want to start playing around with you know, heavier weights as you get more confident. And then over time, you can progress that onto training more to failure. I'm gonna leave the session down below um, in the comments so that you can just screenshot it and take it with you, have a go of it in the gym. Any questions at all, drop them down below. Give this video a like if you are gonna try 
this workout, um, let me know how you get on, what gains you get, and uh, I will see you all in the next one.